I think across the board, um, I think one of the things that um, not only for this, what I'll call first round, uh, but also for all of the ARP money, something that consistently comes up that we'll hear is ultimately what we want to know is we want to know what are the goals we're looking to achieve, right? And so um, not only for commerce who's here tonight, but for all the departments and agencies that have come forward with a request, um, I think the first thing we just want to ask them to do is let's put down some goals. I think at the end of the day on all this ARP money, we want to be able to issue something as we go along and as we appropriate and say, okay, here are the goals we're going to meet. And Mr. Secretary, I think about it, even on housing, right? How many more housing permits are we going to see pulled, right? If we do these actions, what are those sort of steps and those goals that we want to sort of reach for and, and, and achieve in, so, in some of those directions? Um, and so I think we definitely want to be working on those. Um, we'd like to move to specifics uh, where, where we can, and we'll certainly talk more uh, offline uh, on some of those areas. Um, and you know, adapting some of the proposals given some of the feedback and some of the hearing process that we've had, um, and ultimately getting uh, some of these things down to firmer legislative language, which I know always um, is a struggle, and I'd rather start now rather than be rushing uh, a little bit later from now. So um, for any of those efforts that we can be gaining some traction on it and moving forward, uh, we would like to do that. Um, after consultation with the president, the leader, uh, our whip, uh, and the, uh, our members in the chamber, uh, next week we're going, the finance committee is going to continue their work. We're going to hear from the Rhode Island Foundation uh, on their recommendations next week. Um, and the committee will hold a series of open days on November 15th, 16th, and 22nd uh, to hear from other interest groups. So I know we, we asked folks to stick to the governor's proposal um, over uh, these hearings, um, where you will be asking groups to come in and bring forward additional ideas uh, that may be complementary, different, above and beyond uh, than what the governor's proposal was. Um, and they could be both. They could be things that are time sensitive, um, or they could be things that are broader reaching um, and take more time. And the intent there is to really start to get a pulse and understanding of um, both what may be some additional time sensitive items we need to deal with, but also um, begin to sort of lay some groundwork and some, and some framing uh, for the conversations that we will undoubtedly continue to have uh, going forward. Uh, so we will conduct those hearings uh, throughout, again, the November 15th, 16th, and 22nd, um, and all of that in anticipation of also at the same time continuing to work with the administration to uh, really make this proposal into one that is uh, able to be voted on, um, and the Senate would like, to, would like to be able to work on that with you uh, throughout this month so we could potentially act um, either late this month or early uh, into December uh, to, move some, to move some of those pieces forward.